I think all of us are social beings and uh, one thing about Vancouver is unlike many other cities there is a thriving residential community in the downtown and what I think this series is doing is focusing on how do we ensure that we have very vibrant communities downtown and that people aren't quite as isolated as I think the Vancouver Foundation study has indicated that many of the people living in the downtown may be close to work they may be able to walk may not need a car, but it seems that many of them are isolated. So to the extent that we can discuss how to increase the supply of amenities to, to create a social environment, then that's something that's important to discuss. So I congratulate the DVA on organizing these events. I'm Councillor Elizabeth Ball at the City of Vancouver. I've been working in arts and culture in pro the professional theatre specifically, but also as an advocate for arts and culture in our wonderful city for 40 years. Vancouver's a tremendous city, full of talent that is unparalleled, and it's a very, very exciting place to be able to work. Working at the city, you have an opportunity to really affect arts and culture, not just through funding, but through leadership, going to the theater, going to the opera, to ballet, and being seen there so that citizens know that it is a wonderful thing to do here in our city. And tre the tremendous talent that we have here just inspires you every day. Vancouver is a wonderful place to work, and I'm very excited to be on City Council, serving with Councillor George Affleck, who is working with me as part of the NPA, um, and as well working with the rest of Council uh, to do the very best for the citizens of Vancouver. I kind of fell into politics. Uh, I've been involved in my community through uh, arts groups and uh, community groups. Uh, it was a natural progression to get into uh, civic politics. Uh, thought about school board, but then ended up uh, running for city council. And uh, first try, I, I won the game, and uh, here I am as a city councillor now. Uh, I'm a small business owner, and I live in the city and downtown core. You know, I'm uh, fiscally conservative. Uh, it seemed to tick a lot of boxes for me, and that's main, the main reasons. And I also, the NPA stands for Nonpartisan Association. It's a very, it's a collective of a group of people that uh, have diverse opinions, and that, that appealed to me as well. You know, I think it's important to have a balance in, in, a, in a society and uh, while I'm pro-business and fiscally conservative, I also think that we need to take care of uh, our general population in any way we can. So our role is really to look at the small stuff and make sure that things aren't slipping through the cracks that shouldn't be. So sometimes those micro things can have a huge impact and so, uh, for example, taxes and, and changes to uh, policies regarding um, public input, uh, we're seeing some of those things happening that are, are, are real negative and I want to fight for those things. Uh, and speak for the citizens of, of Vancouver, and that's, that should be our job. My name is uh, Dr. Kerry Jang, I'm a Vancouver City Councillor and I'm also a Professor of Psychiatry here at the University of British Columbia. I got on the City Council because I was passionate about bringing public health approaches to homelessness and ending homelessness by the year 2015 and making sure there's housing and services available for everyone. We've been doing a very good job of that over the last three years with Mayor Gregor Robertson. Over the last three years, you know, we've managed to reduce street sleeping by 82% by having a number of shelters built around the city so that folks who are sleeping hard can actually go inside and get a meal and be safe. Uh, we've also seen from that a reduction in crime, property crime, trespassing crime and whatnot. And uh, now we're embarking on actually building permanent social housing throughout the city and we'll have 1,300 units built by the year 2013. And uh, with that, with all those units coming on stream, with the proper supports and care, we can beat homelessness, we can end homelessness by the year 2015. So those are the primary areas I've been working on and uh, you know, if you have any interest, please give me a call at uh, City Hall. Thanks. 
my pleasure to be involved with the Downtown Vancouver Association dialogue on what is affordability and what is the price of affordability in terms of amenities and how we build a better downtown in the city of Vancouver. A very interesting discussion today. I always wish that you could go on longer, but I think uh, the informal discussions will continue and we can work together on building a better downtown. I was at a meeting of the DVA this morning and I found it very interesting, very provocative topic. I uh, really enjoyed the conversation. There was some discussion around development of Vancouver and from my perspective uh, what the social concerns around that are. So I found it very engaging conversation and very interesting topic. As a follow-up to this one, I'd be very interested in, in hearing where they go in terms of the action items. What, what, what do they do to, to create the kinds of cities we want to live in?